Alright guys, how's it going? Uh, I've got some advanced tapping techniques for you. When I say advanced, they're not extremely hard, but they're not the easiest thing ever. Uh, so, let's check them out. Uh, the first one goes like this. Okay, play that, that's all on the G. Um, you tap the seventh fret, pull off to the second, hammer onto the fourth and the fifth. Okay, and then you tap the ninth fret, pull off to the fourth, hammer on to the fifth and the seventh. And then you tap the eleventh, pull off to the fifth, hammer on to the seventh and the ninth. Tap the twelfth, pull off to the seventh, hammer on to the ninth and the eleventh. Right, and you're going to play all of those eight times. Okay, so. Like this. Play that last pattern nine times just to sort of round it off. So nine instead of eight. You know, just add that little last one onto the end of it. Okay, the next one is like this. Okay, it's all on the B. Uh, you tap the 12th fret, pull off to the open, hammer on to the 7th. You tap the 10th fret, pull off to the open, hammer on to the 5th fret. You tap the 8th fret, pull off to the open, hammer on to the 3rd fret. You tap the 7th fret, pull off to the open, hammer on to the 1st fret. Okay, you play that three times, and then basically on the fourth time, you tap the 12th fret, pull off to the open, hammer on to the 7th. You tap the 10th, pull off to the open, hammer on to the 5th. Tap the 8th, pull off to the open, hammer on to the 7th. Tap the 10th, pull off to the open, hammer on to the 8th. And then tap the 12th. Okay? And then this last one goes like this. So, like this. Okay? Right, so to play that, tap the 12th fret on the high E, um, and then you pull off to the 8th fret, then pull off to the 5th fret, okay? And then you tap the 10th fret, pull off to the 8th fret, and then the 5th fret. So, like this. And then you do the exact same thing again on the B. And then you do the same thing again on the G, but instead of pulling off to the 8th, you're pulling off to the 7th each time. Okay? And then on the D, you play the exact same thing that you play on the G. And then on the A, same thing again. And then on the E, you go back to pulling off to the 8th and the 5th. questions just post a comment uh, cheers for watching hope you hope this was helpful subscribe and have fun practicing <laughs> see you in a bit